In this unit, we're going to take a look at density, which is the mass of a unit volume. We'll look at that in a little more detail. Uh, so density compares the mass of an object to the volume it occupies, which means density is going to be calculated by taking mass divided by volume. So even though we specify this for a unit volume, we can use it for any mass and volume as long as we do that division. Uh, and so we specify the mass of one cubic centimeter or milliliter of a substance, and so that gives us units of grams per milliliter, which is equivalent to a gram per cubic centimeter, since a cubic centimeter and a milliliter measure the same thing. Now, density doesn't depend on shape or size or mass, uh, because if we increase something's volume, its mass is also going to go up, and so the, the comparison of mass to volume will stay the same. And because density does not depend on the size or the shape or the mass, it is a characteristic property. Different substances can have different densities, but any substance uh, will always have the same density. So it doesn't matter if I have a brick of gold or a coin of gold or a gold wire, all those things would have the same density even though they all have different shapes and masses and sizes. So density is characteristic. Now I said that we can find the density of something by dividing the mass by its volume. So we don't have to measure just a cubic centimeter of something to find its density. We can measure anything uh, as long as we know the mass and volume. We just divide those two things to get its density. So if we measured something and we calculated its density to be 3.7 grams per milliliter, um, we would read that as grams per milliliter. That means one milliliter of the object has 3.7 grams. But that doesn't mean I can't have a block that's bigger than one milliliter. So if I had this block and it's two centimeters by two centimeters by two centimeters, well that's clearly two times two times two for volume eight cubic centimeters. And since that's more than one cubic centimeter, it's got a mass more than 3.7. In fact, since it's eight times the volume, it will also have eight times the mass. So if I wanted to, I could take the volume times the density and actually find out the mass. I would take eight times 3.7 and 6, 29.6 grams, and I would know its mass. And it would work also if something was smaller than a cubic centimeter. So that's why we're able to give this as per unit volume because we do that division. So it doesn't matter what the absolute mass is or the absolute volume is as long as we always find it by taking mass divided by volume.